Welcome back to the channel guys today. Well today we're gonna do a little barbecue and kind of keeping the theme of the outdoors I Got the char griller going Waiting for the coals to get hot Wait till you see what we're cooking today I got some ribs going on the grill and I want you to see how I do it if you got a better way to cook ribs or you see I'm doing something wrong by all means leave me a comment down below but today I just kind of want to show off my new grill and my maybe lack of cooking techniques I will not profess to be the greatest cook around or the best barbecue around or anything like that but I try I try and, and you know for the most part everybody says they like it maybe they just don't want to hurt my feelings but like I said today we're cooking ribs I got two racks of ribs been marinating for 24 hours got the char griller going yeah it's gonna be a good night sorry about the wind guys but as you can see the coals are ready when I said the grill was ready I meant for apple wood chips I've got two I've got a mesquite wood chip and an apple wood chip mm, I'm not fussy on either one but let's go over and get a handful and throw it on the grill I way too often catch myself looking at the screen, not the lens. So I apologize if it looks like I'm not looking at you. However, you just watched me put the apple, the apple wood chips on the grill. It's just about ready. I'm just gonna let them burn down a little bit. I'm gonna have a little more on the char griller barbecue. As you see, this is a combo. This is propane over here, charcoal over there, or I can smoke on that side too. And this is the lower end version. I'm liking this a lot. All right, guys, we are all set. We got the ribs, been marinating for 24 hours. Let's get them on the grill. Oh yeah. Here's how I do ribs. I do flip them frequently. I started them off on the fat side. That's only briefly. I'm gonna switch them over right now to the meat side. I'm gonna let that cook for a little while and I'm gonna switch them back. Probably should add in here. This is not sponsored by Char Griller at all. I bought that grill, like I said before, at, <laughs> at Walmart for 250 bucks. And again, I think it's the lower end grill, but we're gonna have a look at that soon. I got, got 10 of these ribs. Well guys, let's talk about my marinade for a minute. Nothing special, just some Montreal steak spice, a little bit of olive oil, rub it all in there, some pepper, no salt, there's already enough sodium in there, so I'm told. I had a little bit of a Cajun rub that I put on there as well, so I put everything into a Ziploc bag, mix it all around real nice, and it tastes good. All right guys, while we're waiting for the ribs to cook, I thought I'd tell you a little bit more about the char griller. Again, not sponsored, I just like the product. It's actually fantastic. So basically what I have is a one step up. The first grill that they show on their website looks like it's traditional charcoal only. And I don't think you can see, yeah, you might be able to see that. How's that? Anyway, nice looking grill, barrel style. Mine that I have is the dual a barrel style as well with propane on one end and as you know charcoal or I can smoke on the other end uh, step up from there looks like the egg style they call it a Kamado style I think that's how I say it Kamado grill not a bad looking grill then they go up to the gas grill which once you get cooking like this you really don't want to go to gas that's my personal opinion 
Now you get into the smoker. This is called a, this is a pellet grill. Obviously it takes the smoke pellets. I haven't quite made it up to that level yet, but I'll get there soon. Hello. So once you get into the pellet grills, they range anywhere from $499 and up. Uh, but they are a good looking grill. If I go back to the grill that I have, the Dual, again, I bought it at Walmart for $247. Actually, it's on here for $228. This one here, uh, step up again from that. It's called a dual 50-50 gas and charcoal. Not quite sure there's a whole lot of difference. It might be a bigger unit than the one I have. I think I might like this one here. This one's called a Texas Trio. I believe it does charcoal smokes and does gas at the same time. I have cooked with propane on one side and charcoal on the other because I just had more than what the grill would hold. And the last grill in the same line that I have is called a double play. You can go on their website at chargriller.com and have a look at them. They got some pretty nice grills. Seem pretty reasonable to me. I think we uh, better go check on the ribs. Sorry about the sunlight there guys. Let's have a look and see what we got going on here. Ooh, you could smell that. If you could smell that. Have a look. All right guys, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna wrap them in tin foil and throw them in the oven or just completely do it on the grill. I got about 10 seconds to make up my mind. Leave them on the grill. We got our Kettle Creek barbecue sauce on there. Just about finished. All right guys, I'm about to go partake in these ribs. If you're new here, thank you very much and welcome to my channel. If you've been here for a long time or even a short time, thank you very much for sticking around watching my videos. That's all I got for today. I'm about to fill my face. See you on the next one. Later. <laughs>